everyone, it's Megan Elizabeth with AboveReviewStudio.com. This is another one of our tutorials for our 12 Days of Black Friday extravaganza, and really it's focusing on doing some tutorials for Christmas time. Now I have uh, two projects I'm going to show you really, really quick. The other day, I did a video uh, with this Frosty Kisses using a sheet of paper layers. I used the uh, Freshly Flourished Trendy Holiday sheet and I cut out all the layers for the snowman and the sentiment and then I also cut out some extra things like the holly leaves and I just made a really simple card using a heavy white cardstock base, a little bit of paper layers and the Megan Elizabeth um, alphabet stickers, the mini alphabet stickers. These in the square are absolutely perfect for the holidays. These are 100% Christmas and I'm going to show you guys two different uses for these mini alphabet stickers. One is for those really quick cards that come together for the holidays. A lot of times I like to have extra cards on hand that are just basic Christmas wishes cards um, that may not necessarily be sent out but something that I can grab very quickly to have on hand when I need to quickly give somebody cookies or you know the person you kind of forgot but then you want to give them a card or maybe just somebody you want to give some extra cheer to. Something nice to do is just make up a couple extra cards and give them to the people that are ringing the bells for the Salvation Army or whatever the case may be. Um, you can have these cards on hand. So really quick I'm just I, like I just made these holly leaves here um, with the paper layer sheets and you could just cut out several of them on a sheet of paper layers. Like really really easy. I love mass producing cards like this. You just want to um, adhere it together and then you can use your mini stickers or a stamp but sometimes the stickers just look a little bit more handmade than one quick stamp and it also gives a little bit more in my opinion it gives a little bit more dimension to a card than just a one dimensional stamp, one color stamp. With the um, mini alphabet stickers I could use the red and the green to create something a little bit more unique, I guess you could say. So just really quickly, the holly leaves come together, and I'm just going to spell out, well, let's, first of all, I want to round the corners. I think the We Are Memory Keepers Corner Chomper is an awesome way to dress up a card. It takes a plain white card base and just really snazzies it up, if, in my opinion. You can round all four corners or just two of the corners. I'm just going to do two in this case. And I'm going to have the high leaf go the opposite way that I did in this card. So you can kind of do both. Maybe this will give you a few different ideas of things that you can do. So this one will kind of come into the rounded corner. And I am just going to spell out peace. And I'm going to do it backwards. So when I spell out words backwards, I always grab a piece of scrap paper and write it out because I want to do my align and I don't want to miss a letter. Let me turn this off real quick. Oh, actually, cancel. Um, I don't want to miss a letter. So when I did Christmas, I wanted to make sure that my word was lined up from the right side and went to the left. So I spelled it out backwards and I didn't want to mix myself up. So, some people are a little bit more um, gifted at spelling than I am. I have a hard enough time spelling forwards. <laughs> I don't want to mess up spelling backwards. Now these letters, um, with them being square or rectangular rather, you can line them up, you know, almost exactly if you wanted to or make them a little bit offset. And I kind of like the little bit offset look. I don't go like crazy offset, but I let them turn and I don't try to line them up exactly because, again, this is a quick card, but I want to give it a little bit of character. I want it to, you know, look handmade um, still. So going offset and not trying to line them up exactly is a really great way to do that for this time of year, in my opinion. And this red goes so great with the red holly. So I'm just spelling out the word peace. And then you could add just a little bit of glitter or some sparkle lights. Anything like that would do to dress it up a little bit, but there's something really simplistic about just the white space of the card that um, there's there's a beauty in that. So, really quick way to use the mini alpha stickers on cards for your sentiments or phrases. Same way with your scrapbook layouts. I'm going to set these aside, so now I have two cards ready to go. I'm going to make some ornaments. 
Ornaments are kind of a fun thing to create this time of year. And I used my Gypsy to kind of alter some of the Christmas trees in the Winter Woodland Cricut cartridge. Um, there's some really cute trees on here, but there is, um, with the blackout shadow function, there are two trees. And what the trees actually cut out like, I'll just peel these off here so you can see. When you do these trees by themselves, how they're supposed to be, it's cool because you can make three-dimensional things for your home for this time of year. So uh, it cuts out a slit in the top and a slit in the bottom so that you can place it together. And they slide all the way together. And this is heavy chipboard. And then it's a three-dimensional Christmas tree. So you could actually punch a hole in the top and it would be a very cute three-dimensional tree for your home or just to set on a mantle or on the table and do a whole little forest of different sized trees. Well, I cut them out without the slits in them in two different sizes just to kind of see which size I would want. And I'm going to make ornaments for using my chipboard stickers for my kids. Or, I'm sorry, not the chipboard stickers. On the chipboard, using the mini alpha stickers for my kids. And I'm going to use the green alphas. Now, there's a lot of times you get a sheet and there's letters that you don't use often. And I'm that way. I hardly ever use the X. I hardly ever use the Vs. I always need more S's and I always need, you know, different things. So what I'm going to do is just take the random letters in the green. And this is something that actually was not my original idea. This is something that Britain um, did for CHA. Uh, we had to design different things for CHA this past year using, you know, my different products. And Britain did this with these stickers on, I forget what shape it was. Actually, I think she did it just on a box. And then that led me to wanting to do it on a star shape. And I did the word rock star on the, an actual star cutout. So I thought it would be really fun for Christmas time to just vary the letters, vary the colors here. And I'm just covering the entire thing in the different letters that you have leftovers of. Now I'm I'm using almost a pretty new sheet, but I go through these letters really quick basically because I have them in my craft room at all times. They're what I design, so they're what I create with. And you can just go right on down. So you want to make sure you cover the entire face with the various letters. It's not going to be a super fast 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 moving project here. You can kind of angle them a little bit, wrap them around the falling off edges. And then what we're going to do, once we get this filled in, I'm going to kind of fast forward you a little bit. Once I get this filled in, I'm going to add in my red letters and I'm going to spell out Ben and I'm going to put in the year at the bottom here of the tree. So let's keep going through. Okay, and as I'm going down, now what I'm going to do is take um, 2000, I'm going to do 2012, and it might overlap just a little bit, but that's okay. So, two, zero, and do my next layer of green. Emma, out of here, dog. All right, so then now I'm just going to fill in Benson right along here. In the red letters. And I'm going to grab a sparkle light to add right at the top. Actually, let's put, before we add a sparkle light, we should probably put a hole in the top. Grab my crocodile, because that works really, really well for punching through chipboard. And then I can poke, I have my hole, I can take some ribbon. right on through and then what I want to do on the back is take a picture of Benson and I'm going to Mod Podge it to the back so I can cut out the picture 
at Christmas time. I'm going to wait till Christmas. I want it to be actually on Christmas Day. But you could take any picture that you wanted at all. You can cut it out in the same shape and size using your Cricut. Cut out photos in your Cricut. And then you have a really cute ornament for your kids for the 2012 year. And it's just so simple to do. And it's a great way to use those leftover little stickers you have laying around which I know we all have. So it's a great way to use those extra letters when you uh, aren't exactly sure what to do with them. And I think it's pretty darn adorable. So thanks guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoy our 12 days of Black Friday. Don't forget to enter for our giveaways. And we'll see you guys for more tutorials really, really soon. Bye-bye. And here is the up-close finished look at Benson and Jenna's 2012 Christmas ornaments using just a sheet or two of the excess Megan Elizabeth mini alpha stickers. I hope you guys enjoyed, and there's lots more tutorials to come, so stay with us. We'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.